These shows are worth a toke. <clears throat> uh, look. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows to watch while you're high. So you have respect. I know what I want. I know. No, no, no. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at shows that most entertain the stoner crowd, either due to trippy visuals, or because weed culture features prominently in them. Also, we are in no way encouraging you to partake, but if you do, you'll need something to watch. Hey Marty, take a look! You built a time machine out of a 1972 AMC Gremlin? Uh, no. Number 10, Tim and Eric awesome show, great job. This surreal public access style show is an excellent choice of viewing for the high and soon to be high. The intentionally amateurish style and hokey acting, which is sometimes done by celebrity comedians, are sure to have you laughing, particularly if you've partaken in some herbal recreation. Did you ever wonder about what the cavemans did? And then she had to brush her teeth? Who didn't use this thing, dummy? A lack of narrative consistency is also helpful since the high don't have very long attention spans. All in all, Tim and Eric Awesome Show Great Job is a wacky program that the weed and surrealism enthusiasts alike can enjoy. This is what life used to be like for Richard. And look at him now. He needs your bones. Number 9. Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Which way is the dude with two butts? They get lost. Smoking weed may not be illegal anymore in some places, but you can still be breaking the law while you're doing it. Breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. The title characters of this animated sitcom are two teenage delinquents whose dim-wittedness, obsession with sex, and frequent viewing of music videos epitomize the stoner image and culture of the 90s even if they weren't visibly using drugs themselves. That dude's pitching a tent. <laughs> it's probably pretty amusing while you're high to laugh along with someone dumber than you are, and these two butt munches frequent laughing and crude humor are infectious. We can't promise the show will help you score, but at least it doesn't suck. Number 8. Pee-wee's Playhouse Hi Dixie! Hi King! How's it going? Pretty good. <laughs> A bizarre children's show about a goofy man-child and his adventures in a cartoonish house should be right up the alley of most stoners. The eponymous Pee-wee's silly demeanor and many catchphrases are endearing no matter your age, or mental state. Wow! Jumbie, you must have a green thumb! Among other things. <laughs> Speaking of which, the show's penchant for puppetry as well as offbeat animation, both traditional and claymation, offers plenty of stimulating imagery for those on a trip. The show also has several interactive elements, like secret words, guaranteed to keep stoners engaged. Pee-wee's Playhouse is a proverbial potpourri of pleasures for potheads. Uh, there now, Billy. Aren't those nice pajamas? Yes, thank you! Number 7. Freaks and Geeks What the hell is going on? What happened to Floyd? It's next week, man. Not Southern Rock now. Yeah! <laughs> This retro show, set in the early 80s, follows two siblings and their relationships with the title's social groups, the former of which features several characters who partake in cannabis, especially Nick. The most notable weed-related aspect of the show, though, is the episode where the female protagonist, Lindsay, tries it for the first time and then has to babysit. Stop cheating! It's my turn to hide now and you're cheating! No, 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 I'm not cheating. Just give me some space, man. Her attempts to take care of kids with the help of a friend, while high, are definitely a standout of the whole series, and a pretty accurate look at what the experience is like, at least compared to a lot of other portrayals in media. Judging has nothing to do with it. That's not what the dead are about. It's all about being connected and, and being free. Number six, Cosmos. Let's take this three-dimensional cube and project it, carry it, to a fourth physical dimension. Spanning two miniseries 24 years apart, Cosmos features Carl Sagan and Neil deGrasse Tyson as they walk viewers through the history of life, the universe, and everything. How can we humans, who rarely live more than a century, hope to grasp the vast expanse of time? The series explains scientific concepts in a relatable and visually interesting way. Much of what the show covers can be astonishing while sober, but when stoned, 
The scientific information and the visuals, which include a mixture of CG, animation, and live action, are absolutely mind-blowing. If you're going to get high, you may as well come out of the experience a little bit smarter, right? Each second stands for some 500 years of our history. The blinking of an eye in the drama of cosmic time. Number five, Chappelle's show. Shotgun, little buddy! <laughs> Dave Chappelle's sketch comedy show features a number of references to drugs and marijuana in particular. However, there's more for the stone to enjoy than just shoutouts to their drug of choice. Rife with biting satire and hilarious moments, Chappelle's show is a fantastic vehicle for its star's brand of boundary-pushing comedy. Tell you what, let's make all things fair. We keep Eminem, you get O.J. Simpson. Chuck. <laughs> Furthermore, the series' numerous recurring characters and iconic endlessly quotable catchphrases are sure to put a smile on your face and a laugh in your mouth whether you're toasted or not. <laughs> Number four, workaholics. I don't think mine's working yet. Yeah, I don't know. It's not good, man. The misleading title notwithstanding, Workaholics is a stoner show through and through. Following the misadventures of a trio of telemarketer slackers, this show features copious drug usage, including cannabis, by the main characters whose philosophy of hard partying didn't die when they dropped out of college. So here's the deal. We're selling weed. The trio's many immature, gross, and shameless antics are also likely to appeal to the Mary Jane fan demographic, although these man-children do have a universal dopey charm. So if you want to toke along with them or just laugh at their zany schemes, this is one great comedy to check out. Last drug dealer was pretty lax with payments, so... And I don't mean to be a dick about it, but one cool thing he did was he didn't really bring up money that we owed him. Mm -mm. Number three, Trailer Park Boys. Ricky, that's not very good. Use space words, real ones, not talking about space weed. Speaking of zany schemes, this Canadian cult hit mockumentary show follows a group of trailer park residents whose criminal enterprises verge on the strange and or incompetent side. Do you think you could bring these down, give them to Ricky, and tell him they're from the Trevster? I'm not running your cigarettes for you, Trevor, like some old cigarette pirate. The various cast members are frequent drug and alcohol users, and pot is a prominent feature of the group's criminal enterprises, as they grow the plant and sell it. Pot was also the focus of the show's third theatrical film, in which they campaign against its legalization, due to it encroaching on their illegal business. The show has also had an impact on real-world weed, since the stars are ambassadors for a brand of legal cannabis called Organogram. Ricky! Oh my god. Number two, Planet Earth. Every winter, emperor penguins leave the comfort of their ocean home and begin a remarkable journey. Similar to Cosmos, Planet Earth is a pair of miniseries released a decade apart that cover an educational subject. However, while Cosmos covers a broad range of topics, Planet Earth generally focuses, naturally, on our planet, its many inhabitants, both flora and fauna, as well as its beautiful landscapes and seascapes. With its gorgeous cinematography and engaging depiction of the majesty of our planet, all set to a soaring, stirring score, Planet Earth is a show sure to take everyone who watches it on one hell of a trip, especially for those on a high. With billions of ant colonies across the world's grasslands, all doing exactly the same thing, that's a mind-boggling amount of grass. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Wow, this one must be good. Look at them all lining up to get in. No, it's terrible, sir! This is where we process all the new inmates! Wilfred, none of this is real. I know that, Ryan. Right now you're passed out in the basement and I'm eating vomit off your shirt. Stop making me do this! That's in order! Please? Never! Number one, That 70s Show. I jumped out of a cake once. <laughs> I also like sweet, but there's just something about salt. Nothing says weed quite like the 70s. This decade-themed sitcom centers on a group of teenagers in Wisconsin during the aforementioned time. The group all partake frequently in marijuana use, usually represented by smoky 360 camera shots, during which the gang hold disjointed, random conversations that are usually only tangently related to the rest of the plot. Remember on the way to the hospital, Kelsey saw that dog and he jumped out of the car because he wanted to go pet it? But he forgot the car was moving, he broke his arm. <laughs> the group's immature escapades and frequent pranks on each other are also a great source of comedy. 
All in all, that 70s show is definitely worth watching, even with all the threats to put a foot in our asses. I wish I had 2,000 feet so I could put 500 of them in each of your asses. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.